So our aim is to generate AM modulation and demodulation wave. Modulation is a process of altering characteristic of carrier in accordance with the message signal. So if the carrier amplitude is varied in accordance with the message signal, then it is amplitude modulation. In general, the AM wave is represented as shown. Here we are going to see message signal is varied. The amplitude of carrier is varied in accordance with the message signal. Therefore, we are going to find here two voltage level A max and A minimum. So, by using these two parameters, we can define the modulation index for AM signal. That is, modulation index is given by AM by AC. That is nothing but amplitude of message signal to the amplitude of carrier signal. So, from this waveform, it is clear that the expression for the amplitude of message signal we can write. So, here A maximum minus A minimum divided by 2 is nothing but the amplitude of the message signal. And if we consider this expression, expression for carrier amplitude here, this is given by a maximum minus a m. If we substitute the expression for a m, we'll get the expression for carrier amplitude is this. So there are three different cases in modulation. One is under modulation ideal modulation or perfect modulation and over modulation. So in under modulation, the amplitude of the message signal is less than the carrier amplitude. AM is less than AC. In perfect modulation, amplitude of message signal is equal to carrier amplitude here. And in over modulation, amplitude of message signal is slightly greater than the carrier amplitude here. So we will try to analyze these three different conditions when the circuit is constructed. So these are the different conditions. Perfect modulation means here amplitude of message signal is equal to carrier amplitude. For that, modulation index is 1. The waveform look like this. Here for under modulation, amplitude of message signal is less than carrier amplitude. Therefore, this modulation index is less than 1 the waveform look like this. For over modulation, we are going to see amplitude of message signal which is slightly greater than the carrier amplitude. Hence, the modulation index here observed which is greater than 1 and hence noise will be there. And also, the phase reverse will be there at the crossing or phase shift will be there. So this is the circuit that we are using for the design part. Please refer the lab manual. Here we are applying carrier signal at the base of this transistor with frequency 10 kilohertz and 15 volts peak to peak amplitude. And this is voltage divider by us. And here we have a tank circuit which is designed for 
to oscillate at uh, 9 kilohertz approximately. So we have taken the carrier frequency as 10 kilohertz. So we will get the oscillations here. And at this point, we are applying message signal with frequency 500 to 700 hertz with approximate amplitude 4.5 to 5 volts peak to peak. And here we are going to observe the output. On CRO, when we turn on, after connecting all the components, we'll see this output. That is the AM envelope here. This portion of the circuit represent envelope detector which is used to extract the message signal from the AM wave. So this circuit works based on the principle of envelope detection. Positive half cycle is allowed by this diode and hence we are able to recover the transmitted signal. Okay. This is the springboard on which two circuits are shown. The first one is the modulator circuit and the second one is demodulator circuit here. Here we are able to observe the output that is the AM wave. This is the message signal. How to calculate A maximum and A minimum is shown here. Set the waveform to the reference level. The peak of the, uh, that is uh, the AM wave to the reference level represent the maximum voltage. And here, from this point to the reference voltage, uh, reference line represent minimum voltage. Once these two values are obtained, we are able to calculate the modulation index and the amplitude of the message signal and carrier voltage. So this is the output of AM detection where envelope detector is used. This is the message signal that is uh, we applied at the input of a modulator and this is the constructed C. And this portion of CRO which is showing different cases of modulation. This is uh, uh, under modulation. Now we are increasing the AM so ideal modulation and over modulation we are going to see here. Only you have to vary the message signal amplitude in order to observe three different cases here. Procedure to get AM wave. You have to set the message signal M of T with message frequency 500 to 700 hertz. Keep amplitude 4.5 to 5 volts peak to peak. Before you apply the signal to the circuit, you please observe and note it down in your observation. In the second step, set the carrier signal that is sinusoidal in nature with 10 kHz frequency with approximately carrier frequent amplitude of 15 volts peak to peak and observe on CRO and note it down in your observation. Before you apply the power supply to the circuit, check the connection and turn on. With a little bit adjustment of carrier and the message signal, we are able to get the three conditions for AM under modulation, perfect modulation and over modulation. The experiment is conducted in the lab and we have obtained the results as shown. Carrier frequency 9.8 kilohertz we kept and message signal frequency we selected as 780 hertz here. If we put CRO in XY mode by applying carrier and input to the two channel of CRO, we are able to observe here A maximum and A minimum in a trapezoidal fashion.
a maximum and a minimum values as tabulated in this table so for different cases of message signal amplitude we have tabulated here the values and calculated the modulation index here we obtained 0.2 20% modulation for the first case 60% modulation for the second case and 86% modulation for third case here these are some of the viva questions that they may ask in the examination so this is the circuit which is simulated using multi sim the same circuit which we have just conducted here is the modulated output and here is the recovered output thank you